In today's video, we're going to be talking about the circadian rhythm. So this is a 24-hour cycle in the physiological processes which are occurring in living beings. So it's a built-in mechanism, but it can be affected by external stimuli. So in today's video, we're just going to be talking about the circadian rhythm in humans. There are different processes which are occurring in plants and cytobacteria, for example. But this video will just be focusing on humans. So some key factors for it to be called a circadian rhythm, it must be a 24 hour cycle, it must be resettable, so this is known as entrainment, where it's able to reset based on uh, reinforcement of external stimuli, and it must be able to be maintained through varying physiological temperatures. So in humans, we have something which is known as a suprachiasmatic nuclei, and this is the location here, which you can see on the diagram. And these are a pair of cells which are in the hypothalamus. They receive information from specialized ganglion cells in the retina of the eye. So these ganglion cells, in, which are in the retina of the eye, contain a photopigment which is called melanopsin. So the effect of melanopsin is to create a signal. And these signals are transmitted from the specialized ganglion cells to the suprachiasmatic nuclei. And this is done via the retinohypothalamic tract. So the suprachiasmatic nuclei then transmit this information based on how much light has been received by the eye, which has been recognized by the retina to the pineal gland. And this corresponds to the lengths of the night and day based on how much light is being received. So the pineal gland is located in the epithalamus and in response to all this information which is being received from the suprachiasmatic nuclei, uh, it secretes a hormone which is called melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone and its function is to basically just to make you sleepy or make you drowsy. And that's why it's prescribed to people with insomnia. So there's some other biological phase markers which are basically used to time the circadian rhythm. And these are the three factors which are measured. So melatonin synthesis, uh, temperature and cortisol production. So melatonin is said to be secreted at night time when there's not that much light. So this is why you're able to sleep and it's not produced at all during the day. So when there's a lot of light, there's, it's not produced. Temperature is another phase marker and they say that your temperature will be the lowest in the morning. The second phase marker is cortisol, where they say that your cortisol levels are highest in the morning and they will reduce significantly in the evening and during the early stages of sleep. So these are all key phase markers to indicate how your circadian rhythm is functioning and all three factors can be influenced and it affects your circadian rhythm as a whole.